BG Info is a lightweight and easy to use tool that shows system information right on the desktop, such as the example in the top right corner. It's really customizable and you can basically set it to display a lot of information. There's a lot of custom ones that are already built in for you, or you can use WMI to pull very specific granular information. To start, we need to download BG Info. To do that, if you just open a web browser and uh, search for BG Info, and then go to the Windows Sys Internals Microsoft Docs. On the BG Info page, you can use Download BG Info to download the application. Once it's downloaded, if you just show in the folder, go into the compressed archive and just copy out the BG Info application. I'm just going to create a new folder on the desktop called BG Info and paste it in there. Next, we need to run the application and then accept the license terms. So by default with BG Info, it automatically populates it with all of the fields. So what we can do is we can just apply this now and see how it appears. So by default, this is how it looks. Now, I don't need all this information, so I'm just going to delete it and then add a couple of the ones I want. So the host name and the boot time. And then I like to have the IP address, the subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS. So if I, uh, and then change the location to the top right. So if I apply this now, this is how it looks. So for me, that's, that's the template I want, but what I will do is just make it a bit bigger. There, I'm happy with that. So now we need to save that template by going to File and then Save As. We'll go to that folder that I just created and call it Template. And then I'll just close out of that. So now we've got the folder with the BG Info application and the BG Info template that we want to deploy. The next thing we need to do is copy this BG Info folder to a shared location. I prefer to use uh, like the domain share rather than a file share. So if we browse to your domain name, so backslash backslash whatever your local Active Directory domain name is, then go to sysfile, there the domain name, then scripts. I just uh, like to move that in there. So everything on the network should be able to access this location by default. So now what we need to do is create a script to basically run this application using the template. So if we just do um, uh, enable file extensions, then go to new text document, and we'll call this uh, bginfo deploy.bat. Then within that, we will want to right click the application, sorry, shift right click the application, and then copy as path, and then paste the pathway into the document, removing the quotes, then do a space, and then shift right click, and copy as path the template, and do the same by removing the quotes. So what this does is this will execute the application, and then as an argument, it will give it the template that we've just created. Then we need to add a couple of switches. So we'll do slash silent and then slash no uh, license prompt. And then we'll also do timer is equal to zero just so it runs instantly rather than waiting the default 10 seconds. So if I hit save on this, now to test it, I will just uh, run the application and make a slight modification to the template just to make sure that it does deploy. So if I just type in, um, we'll just do test, file, save as, overwrite the template that's in the sysvol scripts BG info folder. And then we'll cancel out of that. So we can see it doesn't say test or anything here, but as soon as we run the BG info uh, deploy uh, executable, it should update. And it does, it's added test. So what I will do now is just remove that test so that <clears throat> file save as 
template. Okay, so this template now is how we want it. Now we need to actually deploy that to servers. So the way I prefer to do it is add, create a group policy to copy this file into the, the shell common startup. So basically this, fi this file location, the C program data, Microsoft, Windows, start menu, program startup, any executable that's in here will automatically run on logon. What we need to do is open a group policy. In group policy, we will go to uh, the forest, then domains, expand our domain, then go to group policy objects. I will then right click and do a new group policy object and just call this BG info. Within the BG info, we just want to edit it. Then go to preferences, Windows settings and files. Within here, we can do new file. Now the source file, we want this BG info deploy executable this bat file we created, so we'll, just, so we'll just shift right click and copy as path. And then in the destination, we want to paste this, uh, the C program data, Microsoft Windows start menu program startup, and just do a slash, and then we will just copy the file name and put it at the end. And then before we apply it, we want to go to common and do item level targeting and then target. Now this is where we actually want to uh, select w the objects that we want to deploy this to. So we can go to new item and then organizational unit and then select computers in OU. And then in here, you will find all of the organizational units. So I'm just going to select domain controllers. So if you have an organizational unit in Active Directory called, for instance, the servers, where you store all of your servers, select that one. Uh, but I'm just going to select the domain controllers, for example, and then press OK. If you have more than one organizational unit that you have servers in, so for instance, you want to apply it to the domain controllers and the servers, you can just do add item again, then organizational unit, and then select it and then up here where it says and you just want to go to item options and press or uh, but for this one we just want to apply it to the domain controllers OU and then apply and then we can close out of the group policy editor so now within the uh, group policy again we can right click the domain and do link an existing GPO and then select the BG info that we have just created and then press OK. Now what we can do is right click and enforce it. So what this will do is this will apply it, this um, group policy to any anyone logging in to any servers that is within um, the organizational unit that is defined within the settings. So on our example, any computer that is limit that is living within the domain controls organizational unit will get this applied to it. So I can just close out of this now. Now to test this, we can see it the start is blank. So if we just run command prompt, then do gp update slash force, this will force the group policy update and should copy down that file and paste it into this folder, which it has. Now on the production environment, you don't need to GP update force, you just give it a few hours and it'll automatically do it itself. So what we can do is now, if we, um, you can, we can see that it's still got that test, but the template we've got, I removed that. So if I just log off and then when we next log on, it should automatically run when we log in and update the background. So if I just log back in, You can see that test is still there and after a couple of seconds it should run and then remove the test there we can see it's running and now the test has gone
that is how easy it is to set up and deploy BG Info.